Okay, so uh, shakers are uh, very popular in um, lots of different styles of music and a good addition to songs. I play lots of shakers and lots of songs. You know, sometimes that kind of thing where this is just a little metal shaker. And if you play along to, um, to a drummer, you know, a rock sort of thing, it kind of creates a lot of, a lot of movement and it actually really helps tracks. I ended up playing a lot of shakers on um, on uh, some of the Powderfinger records and the producer would get me to play a lot of things in 16s to kind of just help to flow the songs, you know. So I would play things like that or even double. And that with tambourine. So you get all these all this, all this, um, percussive things playing a similar flow but it creates a nice big uh, flow to the uh, to the song and also help the drummer a lot. Um, so this sort of shaker, I mean, when, when you make a shaker or you get a shaker, the first thing you do is just practice a movement. So it's quite hard at the beginning because you're trying to get a very even flow without any excess, just going up and down like this, sorry, forward, back, forward, back. And then if you want to add an axle, you're going to go one, two, to get a bit of that, you know? So that takes a bit of time. And then you, if you play 16s, you might play at the beginning. So you go one, and uh, two, E, and uh, three, E, and uh, four, E, and uh. And that becomes that. When it's a bit faster. And it becomes more like a wrist thing, yeah? You might go... In Brazilian music, they play a lot of that, you know? So you play the accent, two soft ones, and another accent. So you get that pattern. And you play a bit, bit back so it becomes that kind of thing. So, there are so many styles. Uh, this is a, a, a new sort of kind of shaker from Minor. That if I hold it this way, I might get that. If I open it up a little bit, very high pitch, but choke it a bit. It's a really interesting, especially for recording. Or I could be doing it that way, but change it where my finger holds the instrument. Or just com completely open, all this way. Anyway, you gotta practice a lot in order to kind of just get the flow and be able to play it. That's the thing with percussion also, that if you're playing something like this, you have to be able to hold it for 10 minutes or something so that you can have the stamina and the endurance to actually play all these things, all these great big things that over a period of long, you know, long period of time as well, yeah. So those are the shakers.